morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. It is currently about 11, 10 in the morning. Cole gets up at 11.30, so usually our routine is that she goes down for a nap at 10 and right at 10, I always like to get in the shower and have at least just like 30 minutes. Hello, <laughs> come over here. Cause he's watching me. Anyways. You're wondering who I'm talking to? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the camera. Anyways, usually right at 10 o'clock is when I get in the shower every single day. So many people are night showers and I do not understand why because I have to start my day off with the shower in the morning. We usually will like wake up. We've kind of shown our morning routine before. I can do a morning routine updated vlog soon if you guys want. But Cove gets up. So we got up today. She got up at like 7.30. We worked out and then kind of just played up in her room. We're still like organizing stuff up there. And then she went down for a nap at 10. I always have to have just like my full hour to myself where I like listen to my YouTube videos. I shower. Usually Usually I don't get ready, but I got ready two days in a row, so go me. I also have these two zits that are literally like in the same spot, but on opposite sides. Looks like I have horns or something. I don't even know. Anyways, I just picked up the house a little bit. Parker is in the shower. He's putting away laundry too. Yeah, that has been our morning so far. I don't know what we're doing today. We don't have like too many things to do, but as you guys can tell from the title, I'll let Parker officially introduce it, but we do have something exciting to show you guys. But before we get into the vlog, Vlog. Officially, I do want to say today's video is sponsored by Care of. They're one of our favorite companies to work with. So part of my morning routine is taking my vitamins. So I have taken care of vitamins for so long, like back when I was pregnant, before I was pregnant. So you just go on their website. I'm gonna have a link down below and you take a super easy five minute quiz that just asks you questions about like your lifestyle, how active you are, how you eat. So I always put in that I don't eat like meat and dairy and stuff. And when I was pregnant, obviously I like put that stuff in. So I love that they're personalized and I'm getting exactly what I need. And I also love their protein powder. I actually usually get the protein powder like sample kit thing but i have one of their like big tubs of it now so my favorite is the chocolate it's so good i think i've shown myself making protein smoothies before i just usually will put a little bit of this with like banana and almond milk and then sometimes if i'm feeling crazy i will do some peanut butter i actually still have my card that says what i got so i have these ones this time so i have magnesium and veggie omega so yeah they come in these little individual packs so I just try to take these every day. I also take all four of them at once. <laughs> my sister is someone who like cannot swallow pills, but I literally just like took all four of those and I'm good. But yeah, I'm gonna have a link down below and you guys can use code Aspen50 to get 50% off of your first order, which is an amazing discount. So I definitely recommend the vitamins and the protein powder. Like I said, they do have like the sample kit, which has different flavors and stuff, but the chocolate is my favorite. So I love this one. The link for that is down below so you guys can check it out. But I have about 15 minutes before I'm gonna get Cove up. So I don't really know what to do. There's like a few things I can pick up, but you know when there's like stuff you need to pick up, but you don't really know like where to put it. I feel like that's the problem I have right now. If there's like random things and I don't really know where they go yet, I still need to get them picked up. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll go get Colby up. I also do have an update on these pillows. I don't think we ever actually showed me getting the right size. I can't remember because we talked about it like 17 times. But if you guys watch those vlogs, I wanted to order new pillow inserts for these pillows. So I got them from Amazon and I kept getting like the right size. I think it's 18 by 18, but apparently you're supposed to get a size up. These are 18 by 18 pillowcases, but they're 20 by 20 pillows inside and they fit much better. Now heading upstairs, this is still what we have is our little like makeshift baby gate. It actually works really well because a lot of her toys are in here. It's super heavy and she can't push it and she doesn't really think to push this one. So going up to get her. Good morning. Good morning, baby girl. Hello. All right, so Aspen just got done feeding Cove. She's all ready for the day. What? Why are you yelling? Now she's playing with her tape that Aspen put on the wall. And guys, we are about to go for a drive. I'm super pumped to tell you I got a new truck. Woo! About three weeks ago, I got my dream truck and what? Cove's super excited about it too. She loves it. It's very spacious. It is a Ford F-150 Raptor. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like a Baja off-roading version of the Ford F-150. I'm excited to show you guys. We're gonna go on a little drive and I'm gonna give you a proper tour and show you everything that I love about the truck. First vlog in the new truck. Yep. 
Here it is. I want to stop to give you guys a proper tour, but yeah, this is it. Yeah, we're just driving around the park. We got Kobe in the back. Is it everything you thought it would be? Yes. How long have you wanted this truck? Ever since they first came out. It was like, that's the truck that like, that's a man's truck, you know? We actually vlogged getting Parker's other truck, his Tacoma. Like how many years ago was that? Three maybe? I wanted to show you guys this that I'm very, very happy about. This is my baby. That was uh, in 2016, so four years ago. Oh, it's so like four ago. years ago? Yeah. And that truck was good to us, but especially after we got my car, getting in that truck, it felt so small. Right. So after we got my new car, Parker's truck started feeling so small because my car is super like spacious and right. big. It's funny how being in a different car, like before, I thought my truck was yeah, so was quiet huge. and so big and so nice yeah. inside, but then getting in the new car, it's a lot smoother ride. It's yeah. a lot quieter inside and a lot more spacious. So when we uh, first put Cove in the back of my Tacoma, she, even fit she wouldn't there. fit actually. So in the, the passenger seat of my old truck, we had to scoot it up so far yeah. that it was like uncomfortable for Aspen. She didn't yeah. have enough room and it would barely fit the car seat in the back. Yeah, it wasn't so, super baby friendly. Right. It wasn't the most baby friendly truck. I did love it. Like it was my dream truck. I really liked it, it up until I was like, Wait, this is literally like a toy car. It's so small. It is small. It was a Toyota Tacoma. Yeah. And if you guys know anything about trucks, they're kind of designed to be able to fill every bump in the road and because well, they're off-road. I didn't realize that. Yeah, they're designed for that. Once you drive in a smooth truck, you realize like how yeah. rough it really is. We were driving one time with my mom because my stepdad has this truck or like an F-150. It's like same thing. We were driving in Parker's truck and she's like, what the heck? It's so bumpy. And I was like, what are you talking about? And then now I'm like, oh my gosh, that truck. Was it when we got back from Arizona? When we were oh, in Arizona. Oh, because yeah, we had a rental car. It was a Trailhawk Jeep. Jeep. Yeah. And those are designed the same oh way gosh. to fill every I bump. And Aspen was, was like, like, why can we just feel like every single pebble that we're driving over? It was like so uncomfortable. And then when we, yeah, when we got back, we went, took his Tacoma somewhere and I was like, wait, this is the same feeling and it's so tiny. We should right. talk about a new truck. So yeah, we're so Aspen super convinced happy. me. Yeah, because I was, I, I was honestly, I would have planned on keeping that truck forever. Like I would have just yeah. driven that thing until it died. But then Aspen convinced yeah, me wanted, to get a new one. I wanted a new one. This truck and my old truck are my two dream trucks. And I've had them both now, so. It's nice. But yeah, let's let's do a little tour, huh? So here's the inside of the cabin. As you guys can see, I've got a steering wheel. This is something that if you're a car enthusiast, Aspen didn't was like, what the heck's the red thing for? And she was all, I'm gonna yeah. go color it in with a Sharpie. I was, <laughs> was like, no. Joke. <laughs> so if you're a car enthusiast, you know, they put little fancy, fancy things in like the nicer cars, like they're in Ferraris or Lamborghinis and all different cars because yeah. it's just a car thing. I don't know. Anyways, got paddle shifters. What does that is, mean? So I can put it in manual and shift it myself. Uh, I don't know what that even means. It's, I mean, it just gives you, you can drive a little faster. Wait, yeah. What the heck? Wait, what does an L stand for on a Prindle? L stands for low. Uh -huh. M stands for manual. So that's, I put it in manual mode to use these. Mm. I've got heated seats, air conditioned seats, mm -hmm. which is amazing. We've got an outlet right here, which yeah, we love. Yeah, this is so nice for like editing, working on the go. Yeah, this, whenever my we take car has road this trips, too. it's which, nice. The Tesla didn't have this. The Tesla did not. You guys are new viewers, which I feel like they're common if you're a new viewer. I feel like most of our people, whenever we're like, oh, remember this from like five years ago, everyone's like, yes, I remember, I was there. So if you're a new viewer, let us know in the comments. But if you are, you maybe don't know, we got a Tesla last year for like a month and it was the worst car ever. I liked it, Aspen didn't like it. But it didn't have an outlet. So and that I have was two of something... them. There's one back here too. Yeah, so that was something that we really wanted. I think the one weird thing is that this looks so old. Like it the does look a little outdated. Yeah. The screen. So it is a 2020 yeah. and the 2021 is going to be like a big new screen. Oh really? But yeah, that seems a little outdated. Yeah, but, we usually use Apple CarPlay anyways. Not yeah, it, it looks nice much, when you plug but... in your phone. It just looks like your phone, you know. Oh, up here. Look at this. I've got a that full sunroof, sun the entire length of the roof, which is yeah. huge and cool. And then all of these, like right now, they go to nothing. Because this truck is like a Baja off-roading truck, they Did put them see? there for you to be able to add in- Like extra lights Extra lights. So like if you're driving at night, you can have a big bright light bar or something. Yeah. Got a ton of space in here, ton of storage. The, the back, back seat is, is huge. Yeah. yeah, there's so much room back it's there. It's so nice. Like look how much room Cove has. In Parker's other truck, her seat like, we had to move this one way right. far I out. wouldn't, in my other truck, I 
wouldn't put her behind the driver's seat yeah, because I had to scoot there wasn't all the way room. up and drive like this. Yeah. Both the seats fold up, so it's like ton of extra space down there if you're yeah, traveling with cargo or something. So yeah, that seat's folded up. We got Kobe here. She's got plenty of room. Parker can show you guys the outside. So here's what the outside looks like. It's pretty mean looking. I love it. I think it looks like a very mean looking truck. So we've got the front. Looks really good. So I have made a few modifications to it from what it looked like straight off the lot. Before, it had, if you've seen a Ford Raptor before, you know they have this big Raptor logo on the back, which I don't like. So we pulled those off and then there were also big black decals on the hood right here that covered this whole part and I didn't like those. So we pulled those off and then I put a new antenna on it. I think for now this is what it'll be like, but there are definitely some other modifications I want to make. Like I want to put different rims on it. I want to level it if you know what that means. And then that's about all I'll do to it. But yeah, this is my truck. And I love it. Oh yeah. So this is the cool thing about these trucks. They come stock with Fox shocks on them. So really good suspension for off-roading, which I love to do. And then this is cool. So back here and then right here for like Aspen getting up into the bed of my truck, if it's hard for her, comes with a little step and handle. So you step up on here, grab the handle, pull yourself up into the bed of the truck. And then right here, which is another cool feature, there's a button to turn on all the lights in the bed of the truck, which is another really convenient thing. And yeah, that's all. So there's a tour of my new truck. I love my new truck. What do you think of it? I love it too. I love how big it is. We have like so much space. I know, a lot of space. And has like her own seat. It's so perfect. I love it too. So yeah. That's my new truck. We are back at home making lunch. You have the most beautiful hair today. So good. She's been so much better about eating with a spoon and a fork. She's still not doing it like all the way, but usually if we give her a spoon or fork, she just immediately will like throw it onto the floor. She's learning, but today she's having some beans and rice and some cilantro dressing. She already ate her avocado. That's one of her favorite foods. And then she also really likes tomatoes. So that's what she's having. I am going to have a sandwich I showed you guys the other day. Me attempting to make a good sandwich and I had that vegan mozzarella. A lot of you guys said to try and like cover the pan so that the cheese will melt because last time it wasn't melted. But I tried that and I tried putting like just the bread and the cheese on there, like not the whole sandwich and cooking it on a lower temperature so it like cooks for longer and covering it. And the cheese still didn't really melt. So I'm gonna attempt to use this today, which is my chow cheese. Parker's having some frozen burritos. Oh, they're the best bro. And burritos ever. Those are really good. I can't get this cheese out of here. Can you knife? Can you that knife? Thank you. That's what you're supposed to say. Thanks. If you know proper knife etiquette, handing someone a knife, the receiver is supposed to say thank you, and then right after, the giver says thank you as well, so that you know that it is safely Wait, being transferred. So you say thank you to let me know that you have a firm grip on it, Yeah. and I say thank you to let go. That's like that... proper knife handling. Google it, I've never heard that. Maybe, I don't know. Guys, I learned it in Boy true? Scouts. Okay, so, got my hummus. I already showed this the other day, but whatever. Putting that on my bread. Next, I got my pesto. This pesto is so good. It's the one from Trader Joe's. Now I'm gonna put them away to clean up as I go. Have some tomato. Then I also have some greens. You okay, huh? You, no. you just pretending at this point. What? She's totally fake coffee. Okay, so the other day when we did the vegan taste test video, we didn't end up trying these plant-based deli slices and we still haven't because I'm honestly so scared. But I have been liking this plant-based bacon. The bacon sandwich is kind of a lot just because I've had all the stuff for it. So I usually will do two pieces of this. I'm gonna toast my sandwich now on the stove because that makes it delish and I want the cheese to melt. after lunch. Cove's room is still a disaster, so we're finally gonna get it kind of like finished up and clean. We moved a few things. We put a few things in this closet I'll show you guys, and then a few over in that closet that didn't fit. This isn't like done or anything, but Parker just stuck some stuff up there, and then I can take that out and kind of just be organizing a little bit more, but he's getting his tools so we can finally move her crib down, so that will be good. And I'm actually gonna grab her a new outfit. She usually doesn't go through like too many outfits in a day, I feel 
feel like but then we took off her bib and gave her some watermelon so she had juice all over so she actually has a new outfit that i'm gonna put on her she's gonna wear these super comfy they're from shop plain jane and i love them Look what happened to my eye, guys. <laughs> it looks like it hurts so bad. Yeah, I freaking busted up my eye. Do oh. I look tough? I look like I got in a fight, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have, I might have a black eye tomorrow, to be honest. You really might, yeah. I think I will. It hurt because it was like the bottom. It was like, see how it, it's like a square? Yeah. This is the bottom quarter, so and the top quarter was straight into my eye. <laughs> That's the part that hurt. Aww. I didn't even realize this happened until after. All right, it's done. I honestly hate it because it just means she's growing up and we have to move. We have to plug the camera in. We had it plugged in right here. And she's like get laying to it. her down and she's asleep. I'm yeah. not tall enough for this. No, <laughs> but we'll have to get a little flexible right here. Oh, are you stuck? You can do it. Good, Good job. Go. Check out the new bed, dude. Look how deep it is. Wow. Show me your hair. <laughs> you don't like it? Show me your hair. <laughs> oh, you crazy. What, mama? She's like, it's not my nap time yet. She's so cute in that little outfit. Come. Yeah, we got her little animals, some cuddle and kind, her sleep sack, some binkies, some pillows we always take out for her naps. She also pulled this down earlier. I don't know how she even reached it because I don't think she could reach it when her crib was up high, but maybe she could. We had to rehang that back up. That's from Lollipoms. This still isn't quite enough space for the table. I mean, it's making progress. I had some little food things that I was saving but i opened them up for her she's liking it she likes to just like sit and open and close everything so far so good she also loves these these take up a lot of space they're kind of inconvenient but she loves them good job all right next we're gonna hang this mirror which we've just had sitting here for like ever so we're finally gonna hang it especially because she moves around so much more now hi crazy hair girl where are you going oh, come back so yeah, we're gonna hang this up and then I think that will be it. I was about to lay her down for a nap actually, so I took everything out of here. It's only two and I just remembered we changed her nap to 2.30 because otherwise she wakes up after like 45 minutes. Do you wanna play with your toys? Come see your kitchen. She does not care. She has been playing with this blue thing for probably 45 minutes. <laughs> you have the craziest hair today. Oh. You're so sweet, baby. Just made a mark on the wall for You're how actually... high we're gonna hang it. Oh, but I can't find it on camera. Right here. This mirror is like super heavy. Yeah. Cute. We should have done that a year ago. Perfectly level. It's finally done. All right, so it's the next morning. I am just editing through this video right now and I wanted to give you a quick little update on my eye before I end the vlog. That's it guys, it's just a big scab now. There's not very much bruising. I thought it would be more of a black eye today, but maybe tomorrow it'll be more of a black eye. I don't know, it's not not that bruised, but I got a big old scratch right under my eye. So the crib won that fight, but I'm gonna get them next time. But anyways, that's all for today's vlog. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys.